Oh, hello, bid. It's your boy, Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, I wanted to share another unboxing with you. Another first impressions. And this one's like a mystery package because I had no clue this one was on the way. I get down to my box, and it's there. So now we gotta see what it is. Ha 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 ha. Okay. We got two things in here. Listen, man, this is probably like the best protection I've ever seen on packages that come in. Like I can clap them. To I think I broke one. <laughs> I think I broke it. <laughs> we'll we'll see. <laughs> I think it got damaged in shipping. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so I don't smell anything yet. That, that's a great sign. Um, whatever you do, do not try this at home, okay guys? This is coming from Swiss Arabian, so shout out to you. Hopefully, it's not damaged. Listen, they did everything in their power to make sure that these weren't damaged. Now, this one is called Essence de la Vie. It looks from the box like this is going to be a woody based fragrance. Is it? I'm not sure. But it's not broken. <laughs> That's uh, great. Here you go. Here's your presentation. Here's this wood. Get it? Slanging wood? Never mind. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Essence de la Vie. All right. Okay. Took a, took a lot of pumps. Okay. All right, so this one, Essence de la Vie, from the presentation, it looks like this was going to be like a woody-based fragrance. I mean, hence the box is wood, the cap is wood, but I'm not getting that at all. This one has more of a zesty type of feel to it. It may have like mint, may have some lemon in this one as well, but um, it's not bad. I like to see it on the dry down, see how it performs. But this one is Essence de la Vie. This one is from Swiss Arabian, and obviously it was packaged together, so. This one's going to be from Swiss Arabian as well. Hopefully, it's not broke. Stay tuned. Ooh, look at the top. I didn't do that. It's clear that I didn't do that. <laughs> from the presentation, it looks like it's going to be a dark fragrance. <laughs> This one also isn't broke. Score! Listen, man, it, it was hectic there for a minute. I thought it was broken. I can't pronounce it, so <laughs> I don't know. I'll just check the check the description box below. I can't pronounce it, and I do not want to offend anyone who speaks Arabic. I don't even know if this is Arabic. I, it looks Arabic to me. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it, so I don't want to try. I don't want to offend anyone. So let's boom right out the gate. You see that? Boom, good distribution, nice sprays. First spray was kind of alcoholish, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna let it die for a second, or dry, I'm gonna let it die. I'm gonna let it dry for a second. I feel like there's some oud in here. All right, so there's, there's definitely some oud in here. Maybe some type of floral note in this one as well, maybe like a rose. This one's, um, it's not bad, but you definitely gotta be like strictly fall, strictly winter. I guess it can't be strictly fall and winter, right? Let's go winner. <laughs> definitely a winner fragrance, and you definitely gotta go easy on the trigger on this one. If you're not a fan of Oob, you're not gonna like this one. I can see what they were doing here, though. Not bad. I don't know this would be my first uh, grab from Oud, like right out the gate. If I'm going with one of their Oud fragrances, I'm definitely reaching for uh, Chagaf Oud first, or the Abyad, I feel like it's called Abyad Chagaf Oud, the white one, the, the white one or the gold one. Those are gonna be my first two picks, and then I would go to this one. This one's definitely not a bad fragrance, though. And despite what the bottle looks like on this one, I definitely do not detect any wood notes on this one. I definitely get like some, some type of zestiness. It's either lemon in this one, Maybe some bergamot, but um, neither one of these are really bad. Honestly, if I had to choose between the two, which one I like more, I like this one more than this one. But again, this one isn't for everyone. So 
Um, I will get official reviews of these out. Obviously, uh, when I get a chance, I will do so. If you want to see these expedited, then you know what you need to do. You need to comment below and let your boy know. Otherwise, man, here's an unboxing. I hope you guys had a great day. Did you have anything coming in the mail? What came in the mail lately? What did you order? What are you waiting on? I would love to know. As always, I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back. Shout out to my people over at the Marina Group who, who represent Swiss Arabian and get these things out to me. So I appreciate it. As always, hit the goddamn bell.